the political panel has the reasons why. There they are. They're out in the pita pit. Yes. Hey, free, panel. That's right. Free food on Friday. Come down to 48th and 6th Avenue before 9. In health. Because it is a Friday in the summer, that means that we're going to have our com summer concert series starting in the next hour and all morning long, every Friday during the summer. The guys from Pita Pit have been here, so let me introduce you to the Pita Pit gang. That is uh, Jack Riggs. He is the CEO and former Lieutenant Governor of Idaho, the head guy at Pita Pit. And then we've got Nelson Lang. He is the uh, guy who co-founded it. And then we've got Peter Riggs, and uh, Peter has been with us every weekend so far. Are you getting sick of us? No, I'm starting to feel more and more comfortable here. I love New York now. I know. Now, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Jack, you were a former lieutenant governor of Idaho. Right. I'm surprised you're not involved in something involving potatoes. Well, <laughs> I actually, uh, we do more than potatoes. We do pitas now. I mean, it, yeah. well, I want to make Idaho famous for pitas. Absolutely. And Ted, can you get your camera back there and take a look at the pitas you're making? Now, I would imagine, since you are a former doctor, an ER doctor for uh, the Air Force, in fact, uh, um, these are healthier than a lot of the stuff you can eat these days. Uh, there, there's no question. This food is, and that's part of my interest, uh, was that uh, it is healthier food than traditional fare. And uh, that's probably one of the things that draw, drew me to it. Sure. Now, Nelson, uh, I know that uh, when you first got started and you rolled the first pita, and you thought, what the heck is this? Where's the bread? Hey, it's cool looking. Uh, it has really expanded, and you are really popular. The pita pit locations, the franchises are spread it up particularly around colleges. You know, the, the original one was in the college market, and uh, you know, the second and third, the first probably 40 or 50 stores were in college markets, and uh, we continue to grow in that market, but we feel that franchising in what we call non-traditional areas in downtown cities like New York and Chicago sure. have done really well, and they're busy 12 months of the year, so uh -huh. it's, a, it's a great market for us as well. And uh, Peter, from Peter Pitt, you've been here for a while. It is amazing how if you make it, they will come. If you make free food, New Yorkers show up, don't they? That, that's generally the rule, the free food. But you know what? As word gets out about not only that it's free, but how good it is, you know, people are clamoring for yeah. it. They're bringing down more and more orders. You know, everyone's just been coming down here and supporting us, saying how great the food is and that we need to put one here in New York. Well, absolutely. Well, we got one here on Fridays, and it's been great for us. Uh, Dr. Jack Riggs, Nelson Lang, and Peter Riggs, we thank you very much for joining us. And Thanks. Thank you for having oh, us. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and remember, if you're in 48th and 6th Avenue until 9 o'clock, stop by. Free breakfast on the guys from Peter Pit. Round of applause for these guys. Yeah! yeah! It's free! Hey, Brian and Gretch, back to you. Yeah, you know, it took me a while, but do you realize this probably has never been done in New York? Every Friday, now for over, oh, close to two months, we've been giving away food. We're so There's nice no catch. here, aren't we? This is the afternoon. You realize it's not my fault, but a moment too soon. Yesterday, you've forgiven me. And now I'll sit back and wait till you say you're sorry.